Good morning. I'm Tyne Morgan coming to you from our Farm Journal studios in Kansas City. Clinton is on assignment. Well, we begin with two big buys, one for corn and another for land. We'll start with a flash sale of corn to Mexico. USDA reporting the country purchased 1.66 million metric tons of corn or more than 65.4 million bushels. Ag Day's Michelle Rook joins us. Michelle, this appears to be the biggest buy of corn by anyone so far this year. The 64 and a half million bushel sale of corn to Mexico is the 11th largest daily export sale on record and the third largest sale of corn to Mexico. And it's especially impressive considering the ongoing USMCA trade dispute between the United States and Mexico. As of September 14th, Mexico had booked more than 6.1 million metric tons of U.S. corn. That is over the 4.9 million from last year at this time and 5.4 million from two years ago. The buy signals that despite the ongoing trade tiff over Mexico's ban of GMO corn for human consumption, and users there still want U.S. corn. They may also be concerned about the outcome of the formal trade complaint. It was huge. I mean, Mexico coming in buying over a million metric ton of old crop uh, corn and 600, over 600,000 of new crop corn. It shows that even though the press is saying, or, you know, that we're hearing stories that Mexico isn't interested in our corn, the private uh, purchasers or the users in Mexico certainly want our corn or they're worried they're not going to be able to get the supplies they need to be able to make their commitments. So they're aggressively buying corn out of the U.S. Mexico may also be worried U.S. corn yields could decline. Plus Plus, the buy may be an indication U.S. corn prices are finally getting low enough to be competitive globally. Well, I think what it signals to me is that corn is in a value area. Um, I felt that 450, 475 would prove to be value and probably is the candidate for where our harvest low is going to be if we haven't made it already. The U.S.'s main competition has been Brazil with their record safrina corn crop and lower prices and freight rates. However, U.S. corn exports for this marketing year have been improving. Three weeks into the new marketing year, sales are just 6% behind a year ago, and corn export inspections are running above last year. I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Day.